Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a top-down shooter game. So far, we have the player character killing the incoming zombies. In this episode we add the weapons system. Let's continue coding. We start by updating the input manager. It will detect the spacebar key press. The abstract weapon class is the main focus of this episode. We will move here all the shooting code from the player class. Here are the weapon properties. The base constructor. The reload method. Notice it is virtual so that a child class can change the logic. The fire method has a player parameter. We keep the logic as it was in the player class. But we leave the projectile creation as an abstract method. Every weapon type will have to define that method. And lastly, the update method. Let's make our first weapon, the machine gun. The constructor sets the main attributes. Then we need to implement the create projectiles method. We prepare the projectile data and pass it to the manager. Let's update the player class now. We can remove everything that we move to the weapon class. Add the weapon and initialize it as the machine gun. Call the weapons update. And fire and reload methods. In the UI manager, we fix the references. That completes the refactoring. We can test it. Everything still works. Good. Let's make another weapon, a shotgun. It has a lower fire rate, less ammo, and a longer reload time. But it will make up for it with multiple projectiles. The angle step is the angle between two projectiles. We prepare the data. Note the smaller lifespan. The effective range will be shorter. Then we use a loop to create five projectiles. And that's all it takes to create a weapon. Let's give it to the player and test it in action. Perfect. Let's give the player both weapons. Set the machine gun as a default active weapon. And a method to swap the two. The player can swap the weapons by pressing the spacebar. Let's see. Great. The player can now use two weapons. Each has its ammo and cooldowns. Let me know how you like this episode. You can find the code in the description. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. We will continue working on this project in the future, don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.